Nowhere was founded in 1998 to release the creative potential of four social pillars, business, education, health and governance. So whilst our main work um, from a consulting point of view is working with global leaders and global businesses on releasing their creative potential, generating breakthrough ideas and solutions, we've also been com completely committed over the last 15 years to working with um, innovative approaches to education, working with systemic and pioneering tools in schools um, through our not-for-profit foundation and the initiative that we call ECL. Education and redesigning education and the future of education is a personal passion. Um, in the 90s I did my PhD uh, on the heuristics of mindfulness in education, which is all about the study of methods of self-discovery. How do you really draw out talent, gifts, magic, purpose? And I'm still enormously passionate about obviously how you do that in business, but also how you do that in education. How can you um, and we help find ways to unlock the creative fire in children and young people, passion and purpose, that ignition that really changes the game? How can we help our young people see life as a creative adventure, to step into uncertainty and to embrace not knowing? Um, how can we help ourselves replenish energy, nurture ourselves, nurture each other, work in community, uh, explore our interconnectedness? And how does that all help us flow through life um, to find elegance and to draw beautiful lines in the world? So it's a really important topic for me. And in our work or my work and, and how we all work in cultures, building cultures of innovation um, with our clients, there's undoubtedly a threshold and ceilings we're facing and entanglements that are based on some of the limitations of our current educational system and particularly how it um, educates the creativity out of us. So one of my personal inquiries at the moment is in helping um, leaders and teams ride the highs and lows of a creative process, one of the critical components of that is how as a catalyst I uh, speed up and slow down time, how I shift and change space. And it just struck me that one of the critical components of, of riding the highs and lows of the creative process is how we learn to trust life. And it just struck home that how important it is to find creative stillness, to find those moments of pause. Um, and particularly, uh, and secondly, how to see life as a teaching and as our greatest teacher. Um, and there's nothing better than to look around and see life as our greatest teacher. So I'm a really big believer that to redesign education we need to tap into some deep wisdom. Um, and it, this for me is critical work if we're going to redesign school life, um, educational philosophy that really helps us step into the future and shape futures that will be fit for generations to come.